But right now, we're turning things over to everybody's favorite restaurant analyst, Dave Andelman. And today, you're going to give us a taste of some great Greek food. So, like, listen, when I was in college, I lived in Greece for a year, and I came to love Greek food. I still do. What is it that draws you to Greek restaurants? Well, as my little brother, this is really the only thing you ever taught me your whole life, was yes. a love of Greek cuisine. It's a good now, lesson. When we were little, we went to lots of pizza places and cafeterias and right. breakfast places. A lot of times they were run by Greeks. Right. These days, there's authentic, real Greek restaurants, and I love it because it's tasty, it's filling, it's healthy, and it's affordable. All right, good point. So we're going to go through four great Greek restaurants. We're going to start at a place called the Aegean. Two locations, one in Watertown, one in Framingham, and that's one of the best around. Yeah, two restaurants. One in Watertown is small, the one in Framingham is a big, beautiful new place. Meal starts here with that pita bread, mm. which you can dip into that wonderful olive oil oil yes. with the cheese. It is so delicious, Danny. And then they make great Greek salads. Dressing here isn't as heavy or as creamy as a lot of Greek dressing. It's actually light and tangy. You can get crispy spinach pies, excellent baked seafood dishes, a great job with lamb, the lamb chops I love. But I recommend here the beef kebabs. Mm -hmm. So you start your meal with a nice salad, then you move on to these beef kebabs, big hunks of marinated steak, charbroiled on the skewer, cooked with peppers, onions, tomatoes, and mushrooms, and you've got the uh, side of Greek-style rice. It's all for less than $20, Dan. It is delicious. Excellent deal. All right, now let's go to something kind of on the more casual side for, for good Greek food. A place in downtown Boston called Zo. That's it, just named Zo, no. and they really only serve a few things, but it's a great spot. Yeah, very, very popular with the downtown lunch crowd. They have a location right near City Hall Plaza, yeah. and now they're located downtown on State Street. Their specialty is the real, authentic Greek yeah, nice. This is basically a roll-up sandwich. It's served on puffy, fresh-baked pita bread. Bread is heated on the grill, so it's a little crispy and toasted on the outside. You have your choice of slow-cooked chicken or pork sliced right off the grill. It's topped with tomatoes, onions, and yogurt sauce. I think this whole thing is about $8, Dan. It is filling and delicious. Yeah, and I'm telling you, that tastes exactly the way that they do it in Athens. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Now, we talked recently on the show about your obsession with cafeteria-style restaurants. You're an old-school guy. One of your favorite places is actually a Greek cafeteria, which is called Farm Grill in Newton. Legendary spot. Yeah, I mean, but the only thing that I miss about being on cable is Farm Grill. <laughs> <laughs> It's right down the street. Right near the farm. Yeah, you know. good access. So you walk up and you see everything there. You know, I'm always tempted by every single thing I see behind the counter. Right. You know? They have all this great stuff that you're looking at. I mean, some of the most popular things are the lamb kebabs, the marinated shrimp, excellent chicken gyros. I recommend the pastichio. Mm. This is a very authentic Greek dish. If you've never tried it before, honestly, get it for lunch or dinner tonight. It's layers of thick macaroni pasta cooked with lots of seasoned ground beef, topped with a very rich sauce combining butter, flour, and milk. Just really hearting and filling. It's like the Greek answer to lasagna. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I know. You said you should go in and try it for lunch or dinner. The truth is you should get it for lunch and dinner. It's one portion. Oh, yeah. Very filling. Very dense. <laughs> very good. All right. Now, your next spot you're recommending isn't really technically a Greek restaurant. It's, well, anyways, it's called Yella. It's in Andover. It's kind of Lebanese, but they have some Greek influence, right? Yeah, I think they call themselves a modern Mediterranean grill. Okay. And uh, it's run by a really friendly husband-wife team. The chef is Lebanese, and mm -hmm. I love those Lebanese flavors. There's also Italian and Greek influence here. Mm -hmm. um, I love their Mediterranean-style chicken wings with tomato, lemon, and garlic. Amazing sautéed shrimp over linguine. The desserts are homemade and incredible, especially the orange blossoms, which are like little fried dough bites with a sweet citrus glaze. I recommend the lamb chops, Dan. Mm -hmm. These are top quality lamb chops. They are perfectly seared, so they're really juicy and tender. Marinated for a long time, so you get the full flavor out of every bite. Served with delicious demi-glaze sauce. Comes with grilled asparagus and truffled wild mushroom risotto. There he is. There might be a Greek debt crisis, but there is no Greek deliciousness <laughs> oh. crisis here on the Phantom Gourmet. Thank you, Dave.